Okay. Guys, so this is the Galaxy A30s, and we have successfully installed my use on this phone. Okay, it's using the <coughs> One UI version, Android 10, and binary four. Okay, binary four is the latest one when I'm making this video, and it's also past the safety net. Okay, so stay tuned guys uh, please watch the whole video so you will not get any problem okay so check it out okay hello guys welcome back again with Tom Bob this time we're gonna put our Samsung phone and here we have the Samsung Galaxy A30s and we want to route it using a Stockholm okay so let's get started let's go to the settings and put on for information as you can see it is a uh, Samsung Galaxy A30s with the code name is A3 Zero seven G using under ten and one UI version two. Okay, let's enable the developer option. Okay, hit the build number five times. Then go back. Back again. Go to the developer option and make sure you have turn on the OM unlock. That's all. Ah and also <clears throat> don't forget to remove all the emails because we would we do not want to stuck in the frp okay. so after that let's turn it off okay this one has already been unlocked but i'll show you how to unlock it anyway then let's go to the download mode by pressing the volume down volume up and plug in the USB cable okay volume down volume up USB cable and then you will see warning sign like this it says volume up continue volume up on press unlock for the first time you need to unlock your phone so just press the volume up long okay volume up long press okay, like this <clears throat> okay and then because i have unlocked this phone it will ask to lock okay <laughs> so i don't want to lock this phone <clears throat> so <clears throat> I just need to hit the volume down but if you have not unlocked your phone you need to press the volume up okay and then <clears throat> after the unlock loader we go again to the download mode this time press the volume up once and you will see the screen like this <clears throat> it means that we are in the download mode <clears throat> and then let's prepare some files and okay, let's fix the screen In here, I have already, I already have a custom recovery. If I open the file, it will contain the recovery and the PB meta. Okay, two files. Then we need to open the login. Just click OK. <clears throat> Go to the option tab right here and make sure you have unlocked 
uh, sorry, uncheck the auto reboot. Yeah. Then just copy the path. Hit the AP button. <coughs> and paste it. Hit open. And we're going to use the TRP underscore black 3.5. Okay. Done. Now hit the start button. When you see a uh, green color like this, it means it already finished. Now you should force the pawn to boot it into a custom recovery. <clears throat> okay. First thing, we need to force the pawn to reboot it by pressing the volume down and the power button. After it reboots, switch the volume down to the volume up button. Okay, like this. Okay, still hold the two button. Okay, now we are in the custom recovery. Okay. Next thing we need to do is swipe it. Go to the wipe option here. Select format data and type yes. Hit enter. <clears throat> and then hit the home button again. Select reboot and recovery. <clears throat> okay, let's prepare the files. <clears throat> we want to copy the files. The first thing we need to copy is the kernel. Okay, we are using the Eureka kernel as six point five. This is for the one UI. Okay, let's copy and paste it into the internal storage. And second file is the mages. Okay. All the files and instruction I will provide in my blog. So let's check the description box. Okay, done. Now let's do it again. Okay, swipe it. Uh, select wipe. This time it goes to the advanced wipe. Select the Dell, pick data and gas. Swipe it again. Home button. Select install. Select the Eureka. Swipe it. Okay, then back this time. Uh, plus the minus. <clears throat> okay, it's done. Now let's hit the reboot system button. Okay, we'll wait. unlock you will get a warning sound like this the pawn is unlocked blah 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 it's uh, expected and this <coughs> red text message okay this is also normal so don't be panic it is a warning sign after we unlock this pawn okay we should wait until it puts into the android wizard
okay we'll stop this video and we'll continue after puts into the wizard okay it's tired takes a long time okay we'll stop this video okay guys so now we are in the welcome screen okay let's just set up the welcome screen just check the option and next 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 okay and copy okay next Okay, now we are in the Android home screen. Okay, first thing you need to do is uh, connect to the internet. Okay, you can use the mobile data or the Wi Fi. Okay, let's set up the mobile data. It's important to connect to the internet because if you reboot the phone. If you reboot the phone immediately without connect to the internet, it will get boot loop. Okay, <coughs> because the OM the OM is required to connect to turn it on. Okay. <coughs> uh, you can see here there is uh, already images, but it has not completed yet. So we need to open the apps connect to the internet and it will update the required files okay. <coughs> uh, we'll test the internet first okay make sure you have connected to the internet We are already connected and let's open the images. <coughs> it will ask the question upgrade the full images, blah blah blah. Do not install, just click OK. <coughs> and it will require permission. Just hit the setting button, enable it, go back, and install it. Okay, now it's it's been updated, so let's open the images. And as usual, it requires additional setup. Okay, just click OK, and it will automatically reboot in five seconds. We'll wait. Just for your information, for you beginners, that after <coughs> putting a pawn, you should not update the firmware. Because if you update the firmware after we root the pawn, it the phone will get boot loop or break. Okay, that's uh, information for you guys. Upon. Let's open the menus again. Now we'll go to the setting right here and let's enable the menu side. Okay, go back. 
let's check the safety net okay as to adaptation fail it's normal expected and if this is a 16-bit ROM you can always fix it using the safety net uh, I'm gonna try to copy some apps to the internal storage and let's copy two files the idea 64 I want to check the CPU version and also the uh, what is it called uh, the safety net fix okay. So the checker maybe. Okay. Let's open the file manager. Where is it? Uh, I, want to, I want to install this one. Settings. It will ask for permission. Just install the apps. Then the checker done. <coughs> now let's open the ID64. It isn't necessary, but I forgot if it if this one is 16 bit or 32 bit. Okay, <laughs> uh, just go to the CPU and instruction set 16 4 bit. Okay, nice. <coughs> It means we can fix the safety net using the model. Okay, let's close this one. Open mages. Uh, add model. Select install from storage. Give permission. Allow it. And select the safety net fix. Okay, select. And it will ask for reboot. Let's reboot the point. Now we are in the home screen again. Let's check the images again. Okay, we want to check the result of the model. Open images and <coughs> check safety net. Okay, nice. Now, so now we have successfully uh, passed the safety net. Okay, it means that. <coughs> you have to using the Google Pay, Popeye, uh, Project, whatever. Okay, and then let's open the checker. Okay, this for fun. Check. Granted. And your Samsung A30s is rooted. Okay. Nice. Okay, thank you guys that's all <coughs> i hope you like my video if you like uh, please hit the like button okay <laughs> uh, i have uh, also have a lot of video about routing and custom room please may check my other video and if you subscribe you will get notified when i'm uploading a video and it also make me excited to make a new video okay thank you guys have a nice day assalamualaikum